So we had a lot of questions and a lot of discussion around the engine from Bathurst and we're really lucky that we're racing at Gold Coast and I'm here with Ken. We're going to talk a little bit about the bits that are damaged on the engine and, uh, and, and what actually happened. So thanks Ken for coming along. Um, so if you come in close, Rachel, we can have a look inside this engine and can, can you just talk us through a little bit? I mean, the problem started here with the thrust bearing. Maybe just point out to our viewers exactly where that goes and what's happened. Yeah, so you can sort of, once we got the motor apart after Bathurst, it was hard to tell because obviously it all fell apart once the oil pressure went away. But uh, yeah, it's burned the thrust bearing out on the crankshaft, which obviously the flywheel and the clutch pushing it forward is then loaded it and that could have happened on the start line as well as probably you know when that because that was one of the few cars that went into the sand and with these aluminium blocks and the, the way the clutches are now it does put a quite a bit of load on the on the thrust surface and they are smaller than our old engines so it looks like that's worn away which is also worn a trench into the crankshaft and then over I think it was about 18 laps all up the fine medical medical metal particles have then blocked the oil filter up, which it's doing its job to catch the metal, and then it's slowly faded off about three pound a lap, and then by the time the alarm come on, it was, you know, yes, no, yes, no, and then, then it ran out of oil pressure, and the end result is it spun a couple of bearings and broke four con rods. And if you have a look inside here, Rachel, we can see the, 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 to the extent of the damage. So you can see, you know, we saw the engine back at, at BJR, but you can see where the hole's been poked in the side and have a look at, at what happens when this engine's doing 7,500 revs and it explodes. It just tears all the aluminium apart. So uh, that's a really interesting look. Ken, if you'd like to come over here and join me, we can, uh, we can have a look through some of this stuff. So the first thing we should look at, Rach, if you come up to the end here, is a sump. Now, I showed you a small part of the connecting rod, and uh, this bit here is was stuck in the sump. So I can remember back at the shop, Rich had his finger stuck through this hole trying to get it loose, and Ken, you tried with a chisel and, yeah. and wouldn't move. But that's obviously the main one that's done all the damage. But talk us through the crank a little bit. I mean, we can still see one of the rods stuck to the crank, but this is totally destroyed as well, right? Yeah, correct. Yeah, you can see in the in the thrust part of the crankshaft here, it's actually worn probably a mil and a half away, and that fine uh, medical particles would would set, get into the oil filter being so fine, and then that's what's blocked it up. When then the, the oil pressure deteriorates, you can see where it's also the bearing's actually missing out of the con rod, and it's just it spins the bearing like they do when there's no oil pressure, and then you know the rods obviously break in half once the, they seize onto the crankshaft, and then you just got bits of broken stuff everywhere, but yeah, you can see that obviously those journals aren't bad. The main journals are like brand new because the BN's always the last on the food chain for the oil pressure and we feed him from the back. So those two went first and all the other bearings were starting to go. But yeah, they did all the damage, unfortunately. So, but the head's in pretty good shape. There's a little bit of damage in that, but that's that's salvageable, right? Yeah, correct. Yeah, the head's got a little mark there where the pistons obviously whacked it when the Conrad broke, but we'll machine that up. And yeah, I mean, because they've all got guides and inserts in them, so... The top end will be fine. We'll just have to obviously short motor with crank rods, pistons, and a sump. The oil pump's actually fine. It's, there's no damage to the oil pump, so it's all happened very quickly once the, the pressure faded. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll use two-thirds of the engine back together. So, Fantastic. All right. Well, I thought this would be a great opportunity to update you with what actually happened, how it looks. Here we are at KRE. They'll build us up another engine, and uh, we'll have a spare soon.